Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amalgamash, and this is the ah, JLab Talk Go USB microphone. The reason that I picked this up at all is because A, it was at my local Walmart, which means it might be at everyone's local Walmart. Usually, when they pick up a new item for the larger stores and for the super centers and junk, they kind of explode, and then everybody's got access to it. So they definitely are trying to market more to streamers and YouTubers and people who do, do podcasts and things like that. And I just want to make sure that there's no ill intent going on. I mean, it's all marketing at the end of the day and it's Walmart. So, you, you know, say what you will about that. But this is going to be something that starts popping up everywhere. And it's not a new microphone by any means. It's uh, there, there's videos giving you comparisons and reviews and everything from you know last year but it's suddenly available and it was fifty dollars and the other reason that i picked it up is because of these two stats here 96 kilohertz and 24 bit uh, recording sample rate those two numbers are significantly higher than my fifine k669b microphone which i have used faithfully for the last maybe two 150 videos 200 videos uh, so that microphone, the one that I'm recording with right now, the Fifine, actually has a 16-bit depth and records at 48 kilohertz. So this is twice the kilohertz. And it, without getting too technical, you can think of those two stats as the audio equivalent of your video resolution and frames per second. So obviously raw audio data that is captured with this microphone is going to have a higher file size than that captured with my K669B, but it's going to be higher quality, a little bit more to work with. At least that's the idea. That's what they're trying to sell me. So let's, let's take a look at what's inside the box. This box. Oh. I need to point something else out too that I should have earlier. This has two polar pickup patterns. That was also another selling point for me. I did quite a bit of interneting right there in the microphone aisle before I picked this up because I'm like, do I want that? Do I even, is it just, just, just niche? Is it enough for me to want? And it was. Uh, it's got a cardioid, which is your basic, you know, uh, podcasting microphone for one person. If your microphone is here and you're here, overhead view, your microphone's pickup range is going to be in this cone. But then you can also switch it to omnidirectional, which means it'll pick up everything around it. And that's not quite the case, according to some of the reviews that I've seen, but your mileage may vary. So this comes out. This is just like a dust cover that everything comes with these days. And then this box just opens. And it's beautiful. Oh my God. There's dust in there. I opened this earlier and I took the microphone out already, but I will show you what it comes with. It comes with the microphone itself, which has got the hard plastic case. It looks like there's blue styrofoam on the inside, but you do not want to try to mess with that. And then your grill, it's got a quarter inch threaded screw. And on the bottom, it's got your USB-C connection and it's got your headphone jack. Oh, the other reason that I picked this up, they just, they just keep coming. I keep forgetting. This has uh, audio monitoring, so you can plug your headphone jack into this and immediately hear yourself with zero latency. And you can do your testing for your placement and everything, and then you can get it right where you want it and then unplug your uh, uh, headphones and then plug them into wherever else. This will act as a regular speaker output for your computer as well. So you can leave your headphones plugged in and you'll hear all that stuff. And uh, you'll also be able to hear constantly the microphone picking up all the sound around you. That is until you hit the button at the bottom. That lovely uh, button will mute the microphone. So you've got a mute right there at the bottom. You've also got a volume control. This has nothing to do with the pickup at all or the microphone's sensitivity. It is purely for the volume of the output. And then you've got your two symbols here for your cardioid and omnidirectional pickup patterns. If you hold this button down, this ring around the outer edge 
will actually be blue or green when you first uh, plug this in when it first receives its usb power it does not need phantom power and the blue the ring will be blue when it is in cardioid pickup pattern it will be green when it is on in omnidirectional pickup pattern so good functional presentation i like that very much it comes with this lovely 5 8 inch tripod it's heavy it feels really really good and it's got rubber grippy feet and just opens up it allows your microphone to sit low on the desk and then you've got one of these bad boys i've never seen this before it's the 5 8 to quarter 20, 20 adapter but it also has the rotating ball joint head so i'm going to show you what the microphones look like on my desk and then we'll actually do comparisons between the JLab Top Go and the 5 k 669 b and there they are the LED will turn red whenever you want to mute the microphone. And then, like I said, green for cardioid, blue for omnidirectional. Okay, this is a lot of gear, folks. I'm sitting between the JLab Talk Go on this side. I put my pop filter over it, which may affect the recording a little bit, but you've heard me talk through this thing in like over a hundred videos now. It's the K669B Fifine microphone, and it, it, with its lovely uh, rose exterior. I actually have my recording software set to my NVIDIA broadcast graphics card software which has the ability to do noise removal so i'm going to give you different examples of how both of these microphones sound with the noise removal turned off and also on and i'm going to adjust the strength of the noise removal and i should be able to do it all in pretty much real time so this is what you're hearing now you are hearing me through the fifine microphone and i'm actually going to try to direct my voice between the two and not move my head too much to the left or right that said maybe i can get a better video angle that might be fine Ooh, sorry about that all right there my camera is directly in front of me now so you can hold me accountable uh, yeah, again, this is the Fifine microphone. Noise removal is actually on, and it's up about 25%. So it's quiet in here. There's a distant hum of an air conditioner in the adjacent room. I will turn the noise removal up 50%. Noise removal is up about 50% now through my graphics card setting. Pretty sure that's going to translate to the recording and i don't know what to tell you i've got my noise removal up 50 percent noise removal is up 75 percent now i'm still talking through the five fine microphone and now i'm going to be moving the strength of the noise removal effect up a hundred percent there it is it's a hundred percent uh don't know what that's going to sound like exactly but there are some other tests I'm going to do while we're here. I'm actually going to move really close to the microphone and speak into it. Um, I'm going to try my best not to adjust any gain whatsoever. I'm just going to speak directly into the microphone. All right. I don't know if that sort of thing is useful to you, but you might want to know. You know, you might want to know. You might have reasons for buying these things. And this would be one of the reasons, I'm sure. We're going to take that noise removal off now. Noise removal is off completely. It occurs to me that the noise removal may actually remove any asthma effects. So we'll just come in again. And yeah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amalgamash, and this is the Five Finds K660B with its rosy exterior. All right, now we're going to move over to the... Oh, it's not plugged in. Ha ha ha. Ho 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 ho. That being the case, I wonder if it's going to get picked up by my software now. All right, we are now going to move over to the JLab Talk Go microphone. This is the one that's on. Noise removal is currently off. Noise removal is currently off. 
And we are going to turn noise removal on now. You will note that uh, I do speak at a quiet volume. This is for all of my recordings. This is my comfortable, quiet room talking voice. I am in a large room about 16 by 20, I'm pretty sure and it is not sound treated and the adjacent rooms are all open there's a open doorway that goes into the kitchen and the bedroom door is actually open as well so any any opinions about how the microphone sound please take that into consideration the noise removal is actually up all the way for this test i've moved it down to 75 percent 75 percent noise removal using the j lab talk go microphone uh, it is in cardioid pattern, and that's where it's going to stay for the time being. 50% noise removal using my NVIDIA broadcast on the JLab TalkGo microphone. And now, 25% noise removal on the JLab TalkGo microphone. I can hear birds outside, and that's about all I can hear, actually. The, the, the air conditioner and birds zero strength noise removal on the JLab talk go microphone don't know how that's going to sound might sound great might sound terrible and now we're going to switch it to omnidirectional mode it is currently in omnidirectional mode this is the mode that you would set it to when you need to speak to somebody and have the microphone kind of in the center of the room. You might have a couple of other use cases for it as well. You're going to know better than I am, but noise removal is currently turned on. It's down at the very lowest setting though. Let's just turn it up to 50%. This is 50% the JLab. By the way, distance, I'm about I'm I'm about a foot away from these microphones. No, I'm probably about 10 inches away. Mm, that's still pushing it. I'm about 8 inches, 8 to 10 inches away from the microphones. Uh, if you don't want your microphone in your shot, I don't know what to tell ya, because it kind of, it, perspective really matters. I never have my camera where it's at right now, and uh, it, usually it's over there, and when my camera's up on the, on the second tier of my desk, you never see my microphones. Microphone. 50% noise removal on the JLab TalkGo. 75% noise removal on the whoa, JLab talk grow microphone. My settings just kind of went crazy there. And this is the omnidirectional mode, so that's why it sounds like poop, I'm sure. And 100% noise removal on the JLab talk grow microphone. And that is that. So now we've looked at... Now we've looked at all of the settings for both of these microphones. And I have done a lot of testing throughout the day. I've actually spent like over an hour messing with the settings in my my sound settings for my graphics card and also um, with the volume controls and everything and I have to say I really actually like the J Labs sound quality. I like it just a tad smidgen, just a teensy weensy bit more than the Fifine K669B. I think that I'm I just come across a little less boomy and I think that that's because the there's just a little bit less gain applied. I don't think the Fi Fine really applies that much gain, but my on microphone used to apply a crap load of gain. Now I haven't used the on microphone since I got the Nvidia broadcast uh sound, noise removal effect. So I might actually dig that microphone out. It's it's actually sitting in a little box right there. I can reach over and grab it but I'd have to plug it in and I don't want to do that right now. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was useful or educational. And really this, there's a ton of other videos that kind of showcase what this microphone sounds like. I just wanted to have like almost as little, as little audio processing as possible. And there's no processing between the two microphones. As I was switching between the two, they were just raw sound. Um, of course, with the broadcast noise removal feature. 
and I have a, lot, a feeling a lot of folks will be using that sort of feature as, as uh, it becomes more available on your graphics card. So that's it. Uh, oh, and I don't want to do this because with the microphone popping up at my local Walmart, it's likely that it's going to be popping up in a lot of Walmarts. And I'm seeing a lot more, like I said in a previous video, streamer friendly crap showing up at different Walmarts. So I think that, that that's part of it too. So this might show up, you know, and I'll let you decide for yourself whether you think it was a good purchase. But for me, I, I think I'm sold just based on the little things that it comes with, the widgets, the, 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 the ball head uh, adapter, and I've got a different tripod I'm actually going to use with it the one that it comes with is fine but i i don't know if i like it being that short maybe i do like it being that short i don't know i'll try some different things out anyway thank you very much for watching let me know what you thought down below and uh these are not they, they're 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 blue light blocking they don't have any prescriptions so if i wear them it's just for show right okay see you tomorrow have a great one